Uh, this is Kiprop Kipkemboy. I have some questions to ask you. How many of you have ever have a challenge in life? Have you ever been faced by a dilemma? Imagine, there is a story my grandfather once told me long time ago and told me to think and digest for the answer. Uh, there was a train driver and he built his house next to a railway line. So one day while he was moving, his son went to the railway line. He wanted to see his father, how he drove the train. He never knew that trains would not halt at any time until they reached the terminus. So it was this day that it was so unfortunate for this son. So the father, on board he had almost a million passengers and a lot of goods that he was carrying, transporting to another country. So the son stayed on the railway and hoped his father would stop. I leave you with this question. His father saw him approaching. His father saw him at the railway while he was approaching. The velocity was so high that when he would hold on the brakes, he would kill the rest of the passengers and his son would survive. But to his question was, what should I do? Should I kill the passengers and remain with my son? Or should I kill my son to remain with the passengers? I will not give you a hard time to think about that. But instead, I will give you the answer. The father the father to the son is our father in heaven. When we sinned, he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, that he died for us the same way the, the, the train driver also gave away the life of his son and saved the life of other people. That is our God. And whenever you face a challenge and think that God has forsaken you, it is not that way. God loves all of us. He gave us his son. And there is this um, a musician who once said that when you pray any prayer, that you know how to pray, just remember that God will hear it. And the answer is on its way. And he also said, you should not expect an answer from God just instantly. We are also told, that answers from God are three, yes, no, or wait. And the, the, the way God works, we, we, we don't understand how God works. In Psalms, uh, the psalmist says that your wisdom and knowledge surpasses my understanding. What do I mean? God works in ways that we cannot understand. God works in ways that we cannot understand to benefit us. And in Jeremiah 29, 11, he says he has good plans for us. He created us for a purpose. Imagine him giving away his son to die for our sins. He loves us. He loves you. No matter the situation you are in right now, he can change it.